Hi, beautiful people. Thank you for joining me. My name is Daniela, and I would like to bring up the topic of Archangel Michael. And I'm going to start off with Michael because he's known as the Archangel or Saint of Protection, right? And I have a couple of um, items here that I would like to show you. And I just a this is going to be one of several videos that I record, so it's not like everything's going to be downloaded, but I thought it'd be cool to start with Michael. And can you see this image? <laughs> so this used to terrify me. Someone gave me that as a gift. It's a um, quite common depiction of Michael. And the thing is, that did not bring me peace. Maybe it does for some people, and they're thinking, Michael the warrior, you know, the badass. And yes, he is. But the thing is, there's so much more to Archangel Michael, and some people in different religions call him Saint Michael, and he really is quite an amazing being. This, I don't know if you could see as well. I wish I would have taken better care of it, but I'll try to show you. This is another depiction, like a stone. This came from Italy, and I think this is very cool as well. And both things, you'll notice, Michael has his sword, right? And... This is no BS. <laughs> and the best way for me to explain that is um, I'm a Reiki master. And the person that taught me when she used to do Reiki shares, people t um, take pictures, right? The one that I'm involved with right now, I don't think that we do that. Maybe I'll make that suggestion. But anyway, in the middle of her working, people were taking pictures. And lo and behold, no lie, there was um, a blue sword like seven cords from the person that was being worked on and you could clearly see sometimes just a sword of Archangel Michael and then other times like the angel and I've called upon Archangel um, many times like Archangel Michael like I work closely with the Archangels but Michael just when you need protection you call on Michael for that added safety and Archangel Uriel and Michael work very closely together and they're both pretty tough angels <laughs> or archangels and It really does make me feel so much safer like you'll when you're trying to protect your children or your home Or even just a situation you call upon them and it's like BAM you can feel the shift change immediately like with anything it's your intentions your belief and you really need to take your power and believe in what you're doing i'm sorry there's something on my phone that's driving me crazy well i'm just gonna have to deal with it while i record this so you will use archangel michael to help you to sever cords and what i mean by that is when you're involved in an unhealthy situation even if it's in your past when that person thinks about you it's like bam a cord is connected um, when you think about them, same thing. And you can feel these things and it can drain you of your energy. So one of the things that I do is like, thank you God, or whatever word you're comfortable with, God, creator, source. Thank you God, Archangel Michael, Archangel Uriel. But we'll start with Michael. Thank you God and Archangel Michael for severing all cords that are not for my highest and greatest good, my physical, emotional, mental, soul, spiritual, ethereal bodies, past, present, future, all realms, all dimensional aspects. And... You got to say that with conviction, like you are cutting these cords and this is some people say you only have to do it once. That's just not my personal experience. Um, I've had to do this repeatedly, but the thing is when I do it, all of a sudden you feel icky and you do this clearing. It's another form of clearing, severing the cords and it's amazing. You could just feel so much lighter and lifted after you do this process. Now, as an, on a personal level, like I said, that picture was a little frightening to me <laughs> with the sword and a demon and everything. And again, can you see the cord in this one? And Michael, you see there's the sword. Um, I guess Archangel, well, not I guess, Archangel Michael knew that um, I was a little hesitant, like a little shy dealing with him because of the scary depictions. And one of the things that I love to start a real friendship. It's not even just a working relationship, a friendship. He showed me how, he, he, he used one of my memories, like a movie playing, and there was somebody in school that I was really afraid of. He was older than me, he was huge, 
and I didn't know him very well, and I think he liked me as a person. And um, when I got to know him, he was a huge teddy bear, and I'm just gonna cut to the chase, and he'd pick me up and throw me over his shoulder, and it was just like the, the nicest, kindest person. He was a huge teddy bear, and Michael, that's what his energy feels like, and he knew by using that, you were afraid of this person. Once you got to know him, you realize what a kind, gentle being he was. It didn't matter how big he was, uh, you know, he was a big player on a football team. Um, he was very physically intimidating and just a kind, gentle soul. And that's how it is with Michael. Like, don't get me wrong, when the job needs to be done, he's gonna kick somebody's ass if needs be. Um, but even as warriors in ourselves, right, we wanna do things with love and light, but if a situation refuses to be handled in that gentle, loving manner, sometimes we have to handle it in a different fashion, correct? Like when it comes to my children, if I could do love and compassion, like to protect them, great. But if someone's going to hurt them and they're not gonna respect boundaries and stuff, you gotta do what you gotta do. And I'm not saying to hurt people, but definitely be firm with boundaries. So that's how Archangel Michael is. He's a really loving being and I generally see the royal color royal blue. Some people say, oh, it's royal purple, but you have to use your own discernment and feel what feels right in your um, heart or your gut, what feels correct with you. But I strongly recommend and encourage you to develop relationships with um, source, whatever word you're comfortable with, again, source, God, creator, source energy, the angels, the archangels, because you call in your friends and that's what they're like with me. And believe me, yes, I am here of service, but they help me out in so many ways and they've just been blessings in my life and brought so much joy and comfort and guidance. So I highly recommend you, as you go on a spiritual journey, that you start tapping into that energy. They'll let you know that they're there and it's not like you, the hair on the back of your neck stands up, the room goes cold. No, it's a very beautiful, loving feeling. It's like a big, warm hug. So it's the opposite of spooky. <laughs> and that's what they told me. When it's us, you're gonna feel love because they made me do a self-check. What do you feel now? Does it feel like this? Does it feel like that? And I realized it was very warm, loving, and comforting because it did freak me out when I realized there were a bunch of archangels in my bedroom one time. You know, I was in the middle of meditation. But then when I realized how loving and comforting it was, and you know what, that was many years ago, and I've never felt alone again in my life. Maybe sometimes you miss human um, interaction and stuff like that, but I get so much love and comfort from them, like you wouldn't believe. That you, you have to remind yourself, humans are important too. I need to have social interactions, but it does feel quite, I don't know what the word is, magical, loving, just amazing, fulfilling to connect with these spiritual beings, celestial beings. But anyway, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like more spiritual guidance and wisdom, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you'd like a healing, psychic, intuitive reading, or mediumship reading, please go to my website and look me up, www.daniellodecastro.com. Many blessings. Namaste.